She was popping her shit like, oh, you know, you was late, you wasted everybody's time, da 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 da. And that's like everybody is slowly but surely seeing that like Krishan is getting mad and she's like inching towards to like be her ass and nobody's low, lo like hello, low, like she finna beat you. <laughs> uh huh, bitch, try again. Y'all know what the fuck time is. Y'all know what time it is. I'm looking real angelic today. Looking like God himself. Got my hair motherfucking braided up. This is my real hair. It don't move, but hey, it's mad. <laughs> What's going on, St. Gang? Since we're back in the motherfucking video, bitch. As you can see from the title, we are back again with number two, episode two of Baddies West. I am on time, as y'all can see. So this will be going up on Monday. Period. Miss the last video. Make sure y'all go ahead to the motherfucking link below. We were just talking about episode one and just getting into all and getting two, but episode two was real giving you spicy. I'm not liking how Zeus keep trying to drag out everything and make everything so long and windy and then have like the the like the last five minutes be like something that people wanna actually see. I'ma need y'all to like mix it up because the girls on South Central Baddies. Let me know in the comments right now if y'all want some South Central Baddie reviews. Actually, I'm actually going to do it myself because South Central Baddies is good. Like, South Central Baddies Season 3 is actually kicking off on a very, very good start. The episodes be real long. It be like seven, eight fights in one episode. It just be, it just give you what it needs to game. And then the new New York bitches on there, I love them so bad. They come in like, uh-uh, South Central. But we from New York. <laughs> I'm like, you know, in the Midwest, you know, in the way, you know. And the um, north, that's the east coast, right? Yeah, that's the east coast. The west and the east coast, you know, we, we, we like this. You know, we got the same type of energy, same type of demeanor about stuff. So when they came there, like, South Central, like, girls, stop playing with me. Like, you girls, y'all acting like y'all so tough with that rah-rah, but the city girls know where it's at. Baby, we bang it real, real. And they kind of showed them, though, because the new trans girls got on their game. Oh, girl, this is not about the show. But if y'all want to get into that show, let me know. I'm recording off my iPhone, so that's why I probably look a little different with the quality. Y'all know I usually record off my camera, but you know, the, the skin I always gonna give, the face I always gonna give, so it don't even matter what I record. I record this bitch off a motherfucking hot potato, and I'm still gonna look cunt. Period. We start the motherfucking episode with Sonny and Rody on the motherfucking um, bus again. You know, fucking Sonny was popping her shit saying, you know, everybody can get laid down. And then Rody was like, who can get laid down? And then Sonny was like, I'm not talking to, specifically to you, but you know, you can take it how you want to take it. You know, of course, Rody did her big one. So I'm going to show you. And then Rolla said, splash bow. You know, my girl splash bow. She splash bow her ass. They got Sonny off the motherfucking bus now. Rody trying to get to her knowing damn well she's not going to get past all them fee fap as security guard. Rolly called Stunna a uh, um, munchkin. She like, girl, she's like, meow, meow, meow. It's like a damn munchkin. That was funny as fuck, no say. Rolly be reading. That's why they keep putting up on these shows. Because one thing about Rolly, she gonna read the girls and she gonna beat their ass. Lo say Natalie should step up more. Um, I don't know why Lo saying this in confession, but she not saying it in person. I'm kind of not liking Lo for a little bit. She kind of gave me a little bit of persuasion vibes. I see that's how she got the persuasion treatment and got washed up. Because, like, she's saying, oh, um, Natalie needs to step up and control her cast. But why the fuck do you think they got 60 security guards working? here? Like, what the fuck is Natalie going to do? I know she built like a linebacker. Her chin could stop all the fights alone. But what the fuck she going to do all that for? Girl? That's not her job. Natalie break up the whole situation with, um... Sunna in the cage and how she put um what's her name Rocky Bad in the cage and shit. Did y'all see her and Tommy go on laugh and get into it when um Tommy was trying to like click up with her like or trying to ask her what her story was and Rocky was like I don't want to talk about that and then that's when Tommy got to treat her ass. So that was weird and I that was weird of Tommy to try to link up with Sunna Oz right before Sunna made that post like one thing about me I always been against me versus ten bitches so bitches always want to link up against me and baby I'm a bitch that's always used to be well not these days bitches these days. Bitches tread lightly about Jay and saying no shade. Bitches don't like to come at me sideways because, bitch, for one, I always hang out with niggas. Most of my friends are straight niggas, so it ain't like if you swing on me, it's going to be a whole bunch of girls like, oh, stop. No, like, my friends don't play about me. Like, it's going to be some big-ass niggas at your head. But like I said, girl, I'm the trap princess, baby. I'm Princess Diana when I go in the hood. People don't even, people don't even give me that type of energy because they know I'm next up. Bitch, don't play with me. Okay? Don't play with me. Now they finally get to the motherfucking house after 30 years later. And as, as they come up to this big ass house, I'm thinking like, why these bitches still got a share rooms? Like they got this big dumb stupid ass house. Like this shit look like motherfucking acres on acres on acres on acres. And I'm like, these bitches still gonna be two to a room because these bitches only renting out half the motherfucking house. Like y'all renting out the house to look like a house, but then y'all only 
afford it like five or six rooms like girl why don't you just rent out a fucking place so everybody can have their own space but y'all know that's where the mess that's where the drama come in and that's exactly what the fuck happened they stop at the motherfucker outside and shit they said they wait on stunner so they gonna have cat um go talk to stunners you know cat volunteer tribute so thirsty to go talk to stunner i don't not know why and they assign in the rooms and shit and then they put Lo and Razor together, Thunder and Cat, Roly and Scotty, Biggie and Christian, right there, Tommy. And then they put Tommy and Biggie after that, like they switched it or whatever. This was I didn't understand. Why the fuck they um have this long ass clip about Thunder and Cat going back and forth? But all Thunder is doing is like low key treating the fuck out of Cat, like, girl, you need to pay attention. <laughs> like, Thunder is so hot headed, and I understand where she's coming from because, like, when they gave Low and Razor the room, like Low running, hugging her and shit. You can see Razor kind of like back up, like, girl, I don't even fucking know you for real. For you be like running up and hugging me, like, we best friends, like, bitch, I just met you. And it, that's the same thing for like Thun, like, girl, Cat trying to come in and be somebody motherfucking mama, bitch. I know you old, but bitch, I don't give a fuck about what you talking about, bitch. I'm, bitch, these hoes want to get active, and bitch, she got active on these hoes as the fuck she should. She's the Thunder Girl, but she came to stunt. And I know Thunder Girl's a little irritating at times, but like I say, bitch, she the insane. Y'all let fucking um, Sydney Star ass come on Betty ACL and just act the ass. At least she ain't falling everywhere at looking a fucking fool. Like, she's still keeping her composed, and it look like on the next episode, bitch, she finna get booked. So, I'm looking forward to all that. Fuck who talking about? Um, they just basically having that long ass conversation. Stunner like she don't gotta explain herself to nobody and shit. Stunner say, um, Biggie trying to get her little catchphrases and shit in because she knows she a lame ass bitch. Because if you know she not talking, nobody's gonna pay attention to her. I mean, did she lie? Oh, Natalie called Biggie to her room and shit, and then like she yelling and shit, and then she basically just like swore her in to be her since her knight in shining armor. Like she's like, bitch, you are my security for the show. All right, you gonna dig ride me? You gonna do everything I said? So basically, she's the new Scotty. Cause Scotty, you remember Scotty, she like, when I swing, you swing. So she trying to make, you know, Biggie the new Scotty, cause you know that's how Scotty was. Of course, you know, Biggie does her her dick riding one. She like, oh yeah, girl, I got you, da, 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 whatever. So then they get on the bed and they call Krishan. Krishan tell them hoes, bitch, I'm 30 minutes away, I'ma arrive when the fuck I arrive, bitch, I pull up when I pull up. And she should, bitch, that was sickening to me. No shade, when Krishan beat low ass and said, bitch, y'all hoes is all on my time. This is my show. Did y'all forget? <laughs> Bitch, that was the line of the whole episode because, girl, she ate that. Strum the yum yum upper. She ate that, bitch. She said, girl, this is my show. Did you hoes forget? Y'all hoes is on my time, bitch. When I move, you move just like that. Fucking talking about, like, you hoes is new here. Don't forget it. And she ate that, but that, that's later in the episode. We almost there. I don't know if I need to get to the motherfucking house with her scar breath up. She tell my some bitch, I gotta, you know, stay ready. So I never gotta get ready as she should. So when she come in, Natalie tell her, like, um, you know, we're gonna have a little chit chat, a little talk about what happened and shit. You know, something like, okay, whatever, bitch, we can have a little chit chat, a little talk with that. But now they get to their room and shit. And of course, it's only one fucking bed. And I'm like interested to see how this one, who's gonna work because y'all know my girl Kat, she is, is a strong, bold bitch. She a Philly bitch. So she's not gonna play no games. But then Stunner, like, Big balls right now, like, yeah, this might be it. Like, I don't know what you talking about, bitch. This might be it. Like, low key, like, kind of, you know, bitch, and kind of, kind of, like, oh, that's a full size. You know, I, I don't know, fuck about no full size. I don't know, fuck if this bitch was a twin, bitch. If it's one bed in that hole, and they say it's only one bitch to get on that bed, I promise you, I'm gonna fuck. If it, we had a pillow and a cover on the floor, bitch, I'm gonna have it. All right, because I know her gonna tell me where the fuck I sleep at, where the fuck I need to go figure some, bitch, what? I will whoop your ass. Claim your spot, go figure my shit out, and then change. That's the bitch I am. Who's you talking about? Oh, this my bed. And you talking about, like, get out. Like, girl. But low key, I like, I live for that. So I didn't get stunned and give you big, like, girl, she don't give a fuck who it is. She want all the motherfucking smoke. Like, she on her phone just sitting there and cats talking to she like, she like, girl, get the fuck out. Like, I'm tired of your ass, too. Like, <laughs> she's a move. No shade. You know, Krishan come in, greet Natalie and shit. They tell her how she late or whatever. Krishan like, bitch, what you mean? I'm late. Like, I have to get my fucking hair done. Like, I'm not trying to be the same rock I used to because y'all remember on the first season, like, she ain't never heard her hair done for real. Like, she ain't never had no wigs. That bitch stayed in, like, some braids or, like, you know, a ponytail or whatever. But this, you know, her hair was fat as fuck. So it ain't like, you know, they did a fool. Like, her her little color was sickening. So now they sit down and do the little um, confession or whatever, a little talk or whatever. And then right before they get to sit down, girl splash back. My girl Splash Bow at it again. They been saying, uh-oh, baby, it ain't no talking. Splash Bow. And she go ahead and Splash Bow, big ass, try to get, up, get her big one up on her ass, but luckily security broke it up. So then now they put my girl son in the motherfucking living room, and then now they got the, um, the other girls in the fucking front room and shit. And then you got Razor and all my bitches just sitting there like, girl, we tired of talking about this motherfucking photo shoot thing because at, at that point it's like bitch it, it already happened like we don't got to keep bringing it the fuck back up but i see why they did because they haven't had a chance to actually sit down and talk about it other than in the bus so now here go my girl low 
you know, girl, cornbread, collard green, country ass looking girl. What the fuck she get her? A palm tree? What she get her? A palm tree, surfboard, coconut ass. <laughs> girl, she got your ass a motherfucker. West Coast whooping, bitch. No shade. No, wait. She from Baltimore. She not from motherfucking West Coast. She from Baltimore. So, yeah, bitch, like I'm saying, bitches on that coast know how to fight. No shade. Like, y'all gotta stop popping y'all mouth. But, like, I mean, the down south bitches do get bucked with, like, girl. Up north bitches really be getting like we don't got shit else to do and when it and it get cold we don't go outside so we got to get all our shit out when we got to get it out okay just popping her shit like oh you know you was late you wasted everybody's time da, 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 da. and that's like everybody is slowly but surely seeing that like Krishan is getting mad and she's like inching towards to like be her ass and nobody's low lo like hello low lo like she finna beat you <laughs> I would have been like. <laughs> why nobody tell my sister to get her no heads up, no one, two, three? Cause like, also like, why the fuck she didn't know that? Like, girl, you was on the bad girls club. It ain't like you DJ Sky, some fucking random ass bitch that just on the show, like frivolous. Like, bitch, you was literally on the bad girls club. Like, you know damn well when a bitch finna run up on you. You ran up on plenty of bitches while you was on the show. So why, you know, why did you not get those cues? Like when she was breathing and then, like cracking her knuckles and shit, that she was finna put her shit. Cause. This time, no shade, Krishan, when she was like persuasion, like it was a little like, you know, a little wishy-washy, you know, with the punches and shit. But this time, girl, Krishan came for blood. She was like, bow, 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 like, not, not, not. <laughs> girl, she gave her ass to Maynots, bitch. They may go down, bitch. They may not, bitch. Her was big and bolsterous, bitch. Them big ass, she had a big cluster of knots, bitch. No shade, that shit like a motherfucking asteroid belt, bitch. <laughs> Bitch, she gave her them motherfucking super knots, bitch. So basically, she just like take a deep breath. She talked to God and she just started knocking low shit everywhere. And then that's when the security break it up in the episode. Yeah, so period. That's the motherfucking video. Hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. Let me know on the next episode who y'all think gonna win. Like, no shade. And let me know who your favorite baddie is in the comments also. As of right now, I still send on it. My favorite girl is Razor. I'm sorry. Razor is a pretty ass bitch. She really give, like, she don't be really fucking with nobody for real. She be saying the realest shit, like, every confessional, like, she really be on her real shit. Like, I really fuck with her. Of course, Krishan and Rody's always gonna be my favorite because they're my bitches. They get bucked, but as of the new bitches right now on this season, I'm definitely living for my girl Razor because she be looking cute. She was the only bitch, I also noticed the only bitch that came to the house and changed that outfit. And all the other bitches had on the same motherfucking clothes they had on when they was up in the car. But Razor was the only bitch like, okay, bitch, outfit change, this is a new scene. And that's the type of bitch I am. Like, I know that, like, girl, it's a new scene. Bitch, you need a new outfit. These other bitches, Biggie still got that big sweaty ass, fucking big ass jumpsuit on, her fucking beat falling off that bitch. And, like, girl, sweating. I know she's sweating. Damn, girl, you done following everything in this damn jumpsuit. And you still got that whole on, like, I don't, the smell. Let me know in the comments who y'all favorite Betty is as of right now. If y'all don't know, follow my other social media. This is my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat. If you want me just fucking my shit up. If y'all do not know, I opened up for Kashawn Rock last year on Halloween. So, it's just now um, January still. So, yes, because it's fresh. And the motherfucking thing, she came to my city. They had a contest for, like, you know, the best up and artists. I went against girls. I went against boys, you know. And I was the only gay boy in the competition. And, of course, bitch, I took the crown. Clips are on my Instagram. I had on this all pink bodysuit. Bitch, I ate it up. Clips of Krishan is on my Instagram, too. She was following the acting drunk, acting sweaty. You know how she do. It's okay. I love her. Love you, Krishan. That's it, motherfucking video. And singing, sis, we out. My shit is not moving. I kind of need to put, like, some little moisturizer on my clothes. I know I just took my do rag off, but, like, damn, my shit ain't, like... I'm a stab a bitch.